Alright, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look, a quick uh, video showing you guys uh, Bo-Katan from the uh, Mandalorian series. And um, by this is by uh, Star Wars Hasbro Black Series. And uh, it turned out great. I'm happy to have this in my collection. And uh, this figure does have a removable helmet. And if you remove his, uh, her helmet, then you will see uh, Katie Sackhoff's head scope likeness. I think uh, they did a really good job with it for something this size. I think it turned out quite nice. Uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, her hair is straight. Look at that. Turned out great. Yeah, you could definitely see um, a little bit of uh, Katie Sackhoff um, in, this, uh, in this head sculpt here. And uh, since this is Black Series, I mean, you guys pretty much know what to expect as far as articulation. I mean, she has a very nice uh, ball jointed head. And then um, I think, yes, based on the neck, there's another joint there too. So they've been adding this uh, in. I like that. So uh, she, uh, oh, not a whole lot of uh, difference. I mean, but it is a little bit of uh, a little bit more range of motion for her um, head here for head and around the neck and then shoulders are on ball hinge joints and um, one thing I do like is that the shoulder pad does tuck inside the um, the section here so it doesn't impede with the articulation at all so here you can see she could raise her arm all the way up like this and still looks quite good because the shoulder pad is it's able to tuck the inside there and uh, yeah ball hinge joints and then single jointed elbow can give you about uh, a little past 90 degrees which is nice and uh, there's a hinge joint around the wrist and it goes uh, top and bottom sure so it rotates top and bottom like that and then with this arm, I believe it is exactly the same. Yes. So it, it allows her to go up and down like that. So for this figure, she is perfect to do a pose, something like this. Quite capable of doing that type of pose. I think she looks great in a pose like this with the helmet on, but um, yeah, I'll put it back on her in a little bit. And then as for the uh, torso, only one joint. There's a ball joint here around the waist. Uh, not a great range, but it has a little bit of movement. And then ball jointed hips with a cut joint thigh. And a single joint knee can give you a little past 90 degrees, which is nice. And these are the, uh, the hidden pin joints. You can see there's no pin right here, nor is there a pin sticking out of his uh, elbow, which is nice. I like that. And then there's a hinge joint around the ankle. And she, her feet does pivot a little left and right. so. You're giving if you're giving her a wider stand then uh, her her feet will be planted nicely on the ground and two working holsters for the blasters she's holding and jetpack is removable Eep, right there it's only a peg it's only a peg hole that's it So here she is, standing and uh, giving a pose where she is just about to pull out her weapons. I think this figure turned out great. Mm. And likeness is really good. It does look like Katie Sack off there. And let me put the helmet back on so you guys could see her one last time. Alright, here she is again with the helmet on. Let me give you a closer look. And check out all the details on her. There's a little emblem on her shoulder pad. I think this figure, again, this figure turned out great. I'm happy to have this in my collection. 
And I think uh, for any of the fans who uh, who enjoy the Mandalorian series, then you're definitely gonna want this in your collection as well. And one last look from the back. So there you have it. Uh, let's see, Bo-Katan from uh, Black Series. Thanks for watching.